Hi, I'm Zach Young. Welcome to my home kitchen. This week on Holiday Baking Championship, the bakers had a super fun challenge to holidayify a dessert typically not associated with the holidays. So I'm taking my holidays to the tropics and making a spiced coconut and passion fruit sandwich cookie. This is Holiday Baking Championship Extra Sweet. Let's get baking. So, sandwich cookie, two cookies, and some delicious filling. We are making a toasted coconut cookie spiced with a little bit of allspice. First step, wanna toast our coconut, all right? We have our sweetened shredded coconut on a little sheet tray. We'll put it in the oven at 375 degrees, four to five minutes, all right? Keep your eye on this. I have burned more shredded coconut than I care to admit. So just want it nice and light and golden brown. Now is not the time to like answer the phone or like do your hair, all right? Stick around for this. Oh yes, there we go. Beautifully toasty. Now we'll let our coconut cool. Let's get making our coconut spiced cookies. We'll start with our dry ingredients. Two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, half a teaspoon of fine salt, quarter of a teaspoon of allspice. I love allspice. I think it is a highly underappreciated fall and winter spice. It is warm. It has that kind of like, mmm, I don't know what it is, but it tastes like you're wearing a sweater. And quarter teaspoon of baking powder. Whisk our dry together just to get any lumps from the flour out. In your stand mixer, or you can use your hand mixer, uh, we will use six ounces of unsalted butter at room temperature and two ounces of cream cheese also at room temperature. Cream cheese? Cream cheese in a cookie? What? A little bit of cream cheese in your sugar cookie, it softens it. The butter makes it crispy. The cream cheese gives it just a little bit of softness so it's not totally crunchy. Three quarters cup of granulated sugar and we will beat that till it is light and fluffy which will happen very quickly because our ingredients are at room temperature. There's really not a lot of leavener in this recipe. There's just a little bit of baking powder. So the texture of the cookie is gonna come from creaming the butter and sugar and also adding your egg. Letting that egg add some aeration is gonna give that cookie that great kind of sandy, crunchy texture. When I think of the tropics, I think of rum. <laughs> We have vanilla extract and the vanilla, I feel just enhances the flavor of the rum. You know, a lot of rum kind of pulls some of that vanilla, that spice flavor from the barrels that it's aged in too. So the vanilla just gives a little extra boost to the rum. And we're gonna double down on our coconut flavor. We have coconut extract. Oh my gosh. It smells like the beach in here. I mean, I am about to put on a bathing suit. We'll add our dry mixture and mix on low until it's just incorporated. Just until you see there's barely any flour left. You don't want to over mix at this point because we still have to stir in the coconut. And now we can add our toasted and cooled coconut. I really want a pina colada right now. You wanna mix until this coconut is totally incorporated. All right, we're ready to roll, literally. Like, roll it out. All right, so let's roll out our spiced coconut cookie dough. Our dough we just made, it is still soft and supple. So we'll take half of the dough and put it on a piece of parchment paper. And then we'll put another piece of parchment paper right on top of it. We'll roll it out till it's a little thicker than an eighth of an inch. So now we'll refrigerate this dough for an hour or overnight, and I will roll out the other half of my dough exactly the same. All right, let's talk about the best part of a sandwich cookie, the filling. We're going to make a passion fruit curd. Passion fruit curd, that's crazy, oh my gosh. Well, you know, lemon curd, lime curd, passion fruit curd, beautifully tropical. Uh, we will start with 
three whole eggs and four egg yolks. To the eggs, I'll add three quarters cup of granulated sugar. And we wanna whisk that. We'll also add just a little pinch of salt. I think that that salt actually really brings out some of the tartness of the passion fruit. You don't need to get crazy in whisking this, but you certainly wanna make sure that your whites and your yolks are totally broken down and incorporated before you start cooking them. So now we'll add a half a cup of passion fruit puree. If you can't find passion fruit puree, you can always use lime juice or lemon juice in this recipe. So we have all of our ingredients there. I will place it over a double boiler, so a pot of boiling water, glass heat proof bowl, and we'll cook it until it has thickened, become almost the texture of pudding. Take about 18 to 20 minutes. Ooh, so this is looking curdy. This, this beautiful texture, this loose pudding, this is exactly what you're looking for. So we'll take our bowl off the heat carefully, and now we can add our butter. You wanna add your butter a few pieces at a time. If you add your butter all at once, it's not going to emulsify. The fat will rise to the top, actually, when you chill your curd. So you wanna add it a little bit at a time. Um, I like to use cold butter when I do this because the temperature of the butter will actually help your curd to chill faster. Butter's in, and now we wanna strain it through a fine mesh strainer. The strainer will get any little pieces of egg white or cooked egg uh, that came about. Again, you wanna make sure that your filling is super, super smooth. And you can see, this is where that like meticulous pastry chef in me comes out, right? Because you can see, see these little bits, just these little pieces of egg. Yeah, exactly. That's what we're trying to get out. <laughs> this is the difference between winning and getting sent home. <laughs> With any, any pudding, and I consider curd to be a pudding, uh, when you refrigerate it, you want to put some plastic wrap right down on the surface of it. The plastic wrap will prevent a skin from forming on top. And we'll let this chill for an hour. You can also make this the day before. Yes, I know. I kn yes! Cookies! All right, our rolled and chilled dough is ready to be cut. So I'll actually cut it right on this parchment. And what I do is take off one side of the parchment, flip it, peel off the other side of the parchment, and now just cut it. I'm using like a one and three quarters inch round cutter. But if you wanna make these into little shapes, if you wanna make jumbo size, by all means, have at it. You wanna work pretty quickly because the dough will get warm and not cut as cleanly. These cookies don't spread that much, but you do wanna leave a little bit of space between them so the air can circulate so they bake evenly. All right, so we'll bake these at 350 degrees for about 10 to 11 minutes till they get nice and golden brown on the outside. Any scrap or cookies that didn't come out, you can totally re-roll. So, cookies cooled for 10 minutes on the tray. Then I put them on a wire rack to cool all the way. My curd is nice and set in the fridge, so let's get sandwiching. I'm going to turn these cookies over, every other one. I'm using a piping bag. You can use a zip top bag or even just a, a spoon if you want. I just move faster with a piping bag. <laughs> It's like an extension of my arm at this point. And what did we learn last week about the tips of piping bags? <laughs> Make sure you throw them out. Now we'll dot about a teaspoon of the filling. Yeah, this one. This one was never gonna make varsity. I guess I have to eat it. Really good. All right, so. You wanna chill these sandwich cookies for about an hour for the curd to set, and the cookie is going to soften slightly, and then store them in the fridge until you're ready to eat them. You can also freeze them, too. They freeze beautifully. Mm. 
Hmm. I will tell you, I will take a tropical holiday and a tropical holiday cookie any day. The sharpness, the floral tropical note of the passion fruit goes so perfectly with that golden toasted coconut and just a hint of that allspice and a little rum. I'm here for this. You all were such great guests. Thank you for coming along my tropical holiday cookie journey. And come on back next week for another episode of Holiday Baking Championship Extra Sweet. Yes, I, I know. No, dogs can't have these cookies. <laughs>